I looked through your social media profiles to see if I could find something interesting that I could share with the audience. Yeah. Did you uh, find anything? Well, so here's the interesting thing. The audience knows this because I told them, and now you're stood there going, oh, boy, what did I say? Well, not what really. I, I know my social media. So yeah, exactly. So it, I, I kind mm -hmm. of fell over with both of you guys because the best I could come up with was that uh, Patrick pretty much doesn't use social media, or at least not openly. Uh, but He's I, over 50. So. But, I, but I found out that there's a famous gardener who uses the same name. Uh, so I had to point out that it's not the gardener if you go on Google. Uh, but he started his uh, 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 career with margarine. So that would have been an interesting that's tidbit that's for somebody Patrick. to sell. That's a yeah. good-looking guy. Yeah. Exactly. And then I came up, the best I could come up with you was uh, um, afterwards, not now, because it might be part of your story. I don't know. You should ask this guy about pink elephants. That always raises a bit of an eyebrow. That's when a you long time ago. I, know, I hardly, I know. I re re I hardly <laughs> remember it. <laughs> uh, and then, yeah, so you you got to be a bit more open online to give us people some 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 material to make it. Well, maybe you should. Uh, did you visit my LinkedIn profile? I did, which is why I'm going to say, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to introduce you to Tick, who has a piece of advice that I picked up online, and that is, I, I think, really crucial, and that is that you should always be where of picking the wrong investors. And I think that ties in so nicely to what you were saying it just does, a few minutes ago Johan, about make it? sure you do as much due diligence on the investor as they do on you. You guys know how this works. He's a little bit nervous, I can tell, because the cup's shaking a bit. Not really, just you know, setting him up. You know how it goes. We want all those people stood over there to look in this yeah, direction. Please join us, say, ladies and gentlemen. What am I missing? So please you guys, join us. you know your job. Huge campus party, round of applause. Come sit. Welcome to Mr. Dick Rimts. Thank you. I think I've had my biggest applause at the start, and I hope it will be at least as big at the end. Johan, thank you for your introduction on venture capital. Uh, one of the things that really triggered me, uh, first of all, I have to say he's one of the nicest guys in venture capital in the Netherlands. I don't even know him that long, but... Uh, we had some, uh, well, we had some conversations in the past couple of weeks, and he's a fantastic guy. Um, I have to, I have to say to you, not all venture capitalists are as nice and as good as Johan. So if you have something good, bring it over to this guy and try to, uh, well, persuade him. And he's already giving you the secret formula. So, right? Okay. So one of the things that Johan said which kind of triggered me, he said, well, when founders start a company and their friends, that raises an orange flag to me, doesn't it? All right, I have to admit that our company, Tech Entrepreneur, I just have to say, Tech Entrepreneur Community Europe was founded by three friends who know each other for 30 years. So I'm not sure if that's an orange flag, it's probably a red flag to you, right, okay. So. One of them is Jurjan, who's sitting here in front, and unfortunately, Patrick cannot make it because of family circumstances. But I remember 30 years ago, when we had drinks at the student fraternity where we were all uh, members, we said, one day in the future, we're going, to, we're going to change the world, right? Exactly. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's what we're going to do right now, and you're, well, the crowd is not that big, but I'm sure that uh, it will be bigger in time. I'm not too worried. All right, so why are we here? Why did we start this company? Because we were worried about you guys. We were worried about the young generation of tech entrepreneurs, and we already see this for about 15 years, uh, uh, especially here in the Netherlands, that the quality of the entrepreneur uh, entrepreneurs is not high enough. And what I mean with that is we have plenty of good initiatives in the Netherlands, and I'm sure that Johan will agree, uh, but many of them do not make it very far past the startup phase. Now, why is that? That is because we do not have the um, economic uh, system here, the ecology or ecological system here in the Netherlands, as we would like to have. Uh, the, the same as in, uh, in Silicon Valley. I'm sure that you can recognize that, right? Okay, but the only thing that we can do to, uh, to raise the, uh, the quality of the entrepreneurs is to teach them and to guide them. And this is what the, uh, the concept, basic concept of uh, the entrepreneur uh, uh, community is. 
you get guidance by seasoned entrepreneurs who've been there, done that, been battered and bruised by the market, by customers, by VCs, not Johan, but others, I can tell you. I've been fucked over by customers in media production many times, and I did not like it. So, so what, what's the concept? The concept is basically that we were looking for the best, brightest young entrepreneurs, and we're going to help them climb mountains, because that's what entrepreneur being an entrepreneur is really really is you see that mountain you want to climb it you want to get to that summit over and over again that is when you're an entrepreneur a true entrepreneur so who thinks that he's a true entrepreneur fantastic we can, can have a conversation with you the uh, the, the 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 young uh, gentleman over there is also welcome to have a conversation with us so how how is this going to work? Because the question is, how are we going to find those young, bright entrepreneurs? We're going to work with them, just like uh, Johan said. We're going to work with them. And we're going to work with you for six months. When you're in, I mean, you might be in, uh, in college or you might be just started with your company, you can enroll with our uh, program, which is called the Tech Experience. And you're going to experience for six months what it's like to be an entrepreneur. You can start your own company within our program. It's fully guided. There's no risk. You don't give us shares. We don't want your shares. We just want to help you. But after those six months, you will know for yourself, I'm fit to be an entrepreneur. Or am I entrepreneurial? Which is both fine. One is not better than the other, I should add. An entrepreneur is fine, but you also need entrepreneurial people to help build companies. Do you, can you follow me up to this point? Okay, so now you know for yourself that um, you're entrepreneurial or entrepreneur. We, from our side, we've worked with, with you for six months. We know who you are. I see some guys over here. We know exactly their qualities. So from this group of 60, we're now working with 60 people all over the Netherlands, four cities. We can see exactly which are the best talented entrepreneurs and some of them didn't even realize that they had entrepreneurial talents before they entered uh, the program okay that's the interesting thing so that w that's what we're saying discover the entrepreneur within yourself now with these brights in this case we see about 10 people who are extremely talented and I am looking at you Yurian those 10 people we'd be happy to build any company with them because that's what we're going to do. You're going to be the entrepreneur, and we're going to guide you up, up onto that mountain. If you fail in your first attempt to climb that mountain, no worries. Get yourself up again. Lessons learned, and we'll help you up that mountain again. All right? So the program is structured like this. Tech experience. You do that in a uh, close to a uh, uh, university in your region we do now in the Netherlands we do four regions now we're going to double that the next half year every half year we're going to do that program so if you uh, don't have time to ha to follow the program next half year no worries uh, join us on the first of january um, of two th 2000 th 2017 okay um, once you've experienced what it is to be an entrepreneur, you go into what we call the base camp. Now, starting a company is not that expensive. Who has started a company before? All right. Uh, that gentleman over here. How much money did it cost you to, to, to discover your business model and get a team to, together? How much money? Zero, exactly. Cost zero. Maybe, how much? 1,000 euros. All right, so, so why do you need money of an investor in that period of time? Who knows the lean startup method? Okay, so it's uh, all about, in the base camp, it's all about validating your business model, all right? Takes no money to do that. Just go talk to people, show them what you want to do. They'll give you feedback, and you get your business model. But is a business model enough to start a company? No, what did Johan just said? What do you need? Uh, to start your business a team exactly 
And there's one more thing that you need, and Johan didn't mention it, but he will after this, uh, this talk, and that's about storytelling. Because how do you onboard a guy like Johan to get money to get your company started? Pitching, exactly. But what is pitching? That's exactly what it is, but that's not the point. The point is that you want to get him enthused, get him involved with your company. All right? Storytelling, very important. What I'm doing right now is a form of storytelling. I hope you'll be um, happy and enthused after this story. If, uh, if you're not, I failed with my story. But storytelling for an entrepreneur is crucial. Tooling, personality, storytelling, all right? Then you get, get started. Doesn't take that much money. Now, now we come in the realm of normal com venture building and, and uh, the story that Johan already told you. Once you validate your business model, you start it, um, you get early success. Now it's time to scale. Call Johan. He'll help you scale. We're not going to do it. Why not? We're only going to invest in you and you and you. We're not going to invest in your company. All right? Our business model is that we invest in you. The only thing that we ask from you, from our big investment, is a percentage of your personal proceeds. All right? So, for example, that gentleman over there who's looking very smart, so I think he's been up there or maybe halfway. Can you tell a little bit about what you're doing? All right, my name is Erwin. I'm not a young tech guy. I know, I can I'm, see. I'm in my second youth. Maybe that's what you call smart, but I'm not so smart as IQ, but good. So I travel the world a lot for my uh, for all kinds of jobs. Right. And then uh, I saw in all kinds of countries that uh, children are very happy okay. with nothing. They have, uh, they have a, a glincer in their eyes. And I had to do uh, M&A stuff and everything with not always people who are so uh, straightforward. Or, uh, you saw that a lot of the 30, 30 40 or p people have a different, uh, uh, have don't have this glints in their eyes uh, in difficult countries. Make people happy. Say. Yeah, exactly. So then I uh, uh, traveling uh, t uh, most of the time back from the hotels or the where they do did the business to the airport. I saw those children everywhere playing football. Uh, with shoes, no shoes, etc. And then um, a year or uh, six, seven ago, I met Johan Cruijff. And uh, he is, uh, passed away uh, uh, for not the Dutch people, but the, the rest of the world Probably also noticed. W worldwide, yeah. widely known. <laughs> yeah, but uh, his son uh, told me that they were very uh, 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 surprised that it was so much. And it was so much not only about football, but especially that what he gives the world back. Exactly. And that uh, also inspired me also in that uh, phase. And there uh, I did uh, a few phases in one because I don't nothing, uh, know nothing for uh, uh, these phases. And I uh, invented a proposition with the biggest teams in the world to make those children happy. That's how it started three years ago. And then people uh, where I spoke with, I got feedback, validated it, uh, gave me feedback. We went on and on and said you should go right away to the biggest brands in the world uh, and make it more specific. So I did. And um, uh, I surprised to came on the, the, bi the best tables of these brands, which is very uh, difficult for, mm -hmm. uh, for me also, but uh, especially for young startups. And then uh, when that happened, to my surprise, they were very quiet. I will never forget this conversation. This is one of the biggest sports uh, brands in the world. They, they didn't say anything for an hour. I, I, I also attracted people which were enthusiastic, like Johan said, not really in the pub, but uh, th they were working, they were good in different sectors, and they all believed in this idea. And then we did add on different features and built like a virtual place where everything came together. I will not uh, elaborate uh, on everything on that, so it's a social community. Um, but afterwards, it, it's, it's a big data company in the end. And then the brands came on, and the big brands was quiet, and they say, we're really waiting for this. When can you have this? So Fantastic. my problem was I skipped a few phases, and when you're in the Netherlands, that's very difficult to explain. But uh, then it is, oh, but will they also offer a contract? It all happened. And I was the guy who did also the, not did have the three, uh, the three people on board. We start, as Steve Jobs uh, once told, from the content side, from what is in the world going on, and not from hacking. So uh, we also inspired some guy from Microsoft, who is one of the uh, brightest minds, I think, as an architect. He's a Dutch guy in the, in the US. 
and he said, I want to do this. I do a big oil company worldwide, but this is what my really makes me tick. Fantastic. And he said, I will take the tech, the tech stack. So we, we still need the hacker, because now also I'm into contract negotiations with this guy and his company. So this is what I did. And I did all kinds of, uh, well, what we say in the Holland, career jobs in the financial sector. And I You said uh, mergers and acquisitions, right? Uh, so you can help yeah. these guys if they grow and uh, he can get help sold. He can help them much better. The really? Only, the only You're thing working together? No, but I heard just heard the story, and I think. Right. So, so what, what I only think in the Netherlands, because uh, uh, as somewhat older and uh, more in the career ladder, I could fund my own company in the beginning phase. Uh, and you need zero at the beginning, that's true, if the idea is good, but when you need to uh, make a demo and you're traveling to big brands all over the world and you take your team on all those flights, you need some money. Yeah, but this is not a typical startup, ladies and gentlemen. No, that's right. No. Right? Uh, what we see here is somebody who's already seasoned in the business uh, acumen, uh, business arena, probably has lots of international contacts, so that would help. That helped, yeah. Right, so um, uh, I'm not sure if everybody in this room had the same starting position, but I, what I do, uh, fantastic, uh, fant fantastic initiative. If we can help in any possible way, give us a call. Uh, we can have a conversation. But you would not be our typical um, customer. However, you could be one of the mentors in our uh, community. Yeah, okay. All right. So we can have a conversation. Maybe, uh, maybe about when that. we are launched, and we will be exactly. Uh, you have to. You need to focus on your company right now. Yeah. Uh, so I, I attract some uh, mentors who want to be on the company. Exactly. But this is okay. a, a wonderful Thanks. example, ladies and gentlemen, of storytelling. Did it, didn't he tell a good story? Was it a good story? Absolutely. Don't you want to be part of it? And, and That's a good story. And right. think, I think where you were going was, um, I was listening to you, you, know, you were talking about investing in the person. Exactly. I mean, had, uh, you, I had, had you guys met in the earliest of days? Mm, yeah, maybe, maybe. maybe. Maybe it would it would have been a fantastic, fantastic investment, um, because as I said, we're looking for personal investments. Uh, people that are young and bright that we've known for six months and say, okay, we believe in you. We're going to invest further in you for the next 20 years. All right. So imagine imagine that you're a young football player. It's the same situation. Okay. We discover you at age 16. We believe in you. We're going to help you, guide you, coach you. And also uh, navigate the jungle of international uh, venture building, and also the guys uh, like the financing guys. I mean, that, that's a good guy, really. But I know plenty of people that are not. I had a conversation with a company yesterday. It was at Next Web, and he said, "Well, we are um, we have a media a media uh, media technology. Uh, that's my arena, media media technology, media rights." And said, well, we're thinking about having a conversation with this and that investment firm. I said, well, don't consider it at all because I'm, I have personal uh, experience with these guys and they're going to fuck you over. So don't do it. Right? So there are little things like this that we're, we're, we can help you. It's a little piece of advice, just 10 seconds. Might be a lifesaver. All right? So I think you get the idea what we can do uh, uh, with you guys. And there are a couple of people here in the front that are already part of the program. Remember, I told you there are 60 people now in the program. They're going to graduate on uh, July 1st in this very building, or actually it's on the other side, Jarbeurs, Media Plaza. Uh, we're going to have the first maybe 50 alumni. Not everybody's going to make it to the end. That's what it is. Um, and, and with some people, we're going to build companies. And in September, we're going to start this program all over again, not in four cities, but in eight. And then we're going to start uh, our start and ascent program and summit programs on the other side at the Yarbeurs. And we're going to announce it. You have, you're the first ones to hear it. But we're going to start there in the Yarbeurs September 1st. All right. Um, I had a lot. I had some slides, but this is what happens with me all the time. I never use slides. All right. Um, what I can do is give you an in, uh, give you a, an idea. Uh, this is a, an example of the, the group. This um, uh, in this six month program, we don't only do uh, technical stuff like uh, building a company with lean startup. That's very interesting, but that's what not what it's about. What's about? It's about you. It's about you, your personality. Are you an entrepreneur? 
a little bit. All right, so we're going to unleash it. And we're going to unleash it, for example, with uh, an event that we organized called the 24-hour challenge. Um, these guys know it. They're, they're not going to tell you what it is because it needs to be a surprise. Hi, guys. Uh, needs to be a surprise. Um, but we'll have one in s October, November again, if you join us. Um, you'll be expected at 5 o'clock in the afternoon at a certain location, probably here in the Arbors. And the only thing you know is that you're going to leave the building at 10 o'clock the, the, the next morning. You're not going to sleep, right? Did you sleep? No sleep. Did you like it? I told them to say, say that, all right? <laughs> well, well done, guys. Thanks. I'll buy you a beer. Um, um, and that's one of the things that we, uh, we're, we're going to throw at you. We're going to throw challenges at you, and it will be a life-long uh, lesson. Even if you're not going to be an entrepreneur, which is fine. We, we, we cannot have too many uh, entrepreneurs. You need only one or two for a company, and the rest needs to be entrepreneurial. And they will also benefit from the skills and the personality, uh, insight into your own personality from our program. All right. So... Um, Gonna finish up. Just showing you. Uh, um, gonna show you this. All right. This is our website. This is the website only for the experience for the first six. Oh, that's interesting. What's happening? Help! <laughs> What's happening? I'm a tech entrepreneur, you can tell, right? <laughs> ah, something happening over there. Okay, it's, lo it's loading slowly because it's on my iPhone. These guys over here had, figure, uh, had their uh, infrastructure uh, figured out. So it's not the site, it's my iPhone. Right? I mean, who has a tech, uh, tech conference without any uh, Wi-Fi? That's exactly. Is, it, is that what you were looking for? It would be, yeah. Yeah? That's, that's good enough. Looks about right. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah. Can you read it? Basically, this tells the story. And the only thing you need to do is hit that button, right? That's all. And um, so how do I navigate, my friend? Oh, here we go. All right. Uh, upcoming events. Uh, if you want to join the, um, the event, that's fine. If you're a student, that's free. If you're not, you're corporate, you're going to pay, you're going to help us get these people uh, on a higher level. Uh, like I said, uh, first summit, Yarbers, uh, July 1st. Be there or be square. And uh, hope you apply and uh, join our program on starting September 1st. Thank you very much. Cool. Thanks, Dick. Are you open for a couple of questions, maybe? Well, when's the beer coming? I don't know. Your two guys ran away and then came know, back. I know, I know. They I just left. I mean, those are not entrepreneurs in my book. Uh, or maybe they're out hustling and not worrying about filling you with beer. <laughs> Probably. Yeah. Let's, let's, let's keep it on the positive side. All right. Maybe there's a question or two from the audience. Maybe uh, we got somebody who's thinking about becoming an You're looking at me like, I'd love to ask a question, but I'm too shy. No, but she's part of the program. Oh, <laughs> all right. That would be cheating. That would be cheating indeed. Well, see, this is the, I got it. This is the problem with good storytelling. Really? You leave no room. Really? For anyone to get in and say, ah, but what about? But we got. So what about? So we what got about finding a good venture capitalist. <laughs> that could be a question. Well, um, so we got one question. I've got a feeling after the he's first one, one, we yeah, might a get a bit. second one somewhere in the room. So, hi. How is their experience with the training? Excuse me? How is their experience with the training? Training? How do you they, mean training how do people? How do they experience it? Well, ask who, these who, guys. Who, who is they? How did you guys experience the training? They can answer the question. Yeah. We have like a program, uh, like it's like in blocks of three weeks. So first it's like the learning, then you validate like according to business model canvas and then you have like a week where you kind of do like fun stuff like going to a bar and talk over and then the process starts over again and it was very informative and yeah you learn a lot man. 
But you said, how did you find it? How did you feel about it? Did it feel good? Did it, did it blow your mind? Was it stressful? Was it easy? Yeah, like especially the 24-hour challenge when you had the whole night to... Uh, uh, no, no, no. He's going to tell in general yeah. terms, right? So, yeah. So That's when right? you had like, the whole <laughs> night to do all kinds of stuff and don't sleep, you really fe felt like what it is to be an entrepreneur. Yeah. You really, uh, yeah. All right. Does that answer your question? Cool. Perhaps there's another one. This gentleman's just walked in. Looks like he's fresh from the next web. How yeah, was he's that? He's also... Uh, Wait, did you like just bring a whole audience with well, you? Well, listen, meet the tribe, guys. Right, uh, yeah. They're they're here. Um, I mean, the tribe is bigger than uh, well. I, I would say 50-50, but uh, all right. Well, they're 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 obviously a little bit shy about questions, so maybe you'll hang around for a couple of minutes just in case somebody wants sure. to come up and say, "Hey, I, I sure, didn't feel like asking." To get back to your questions, uh, uh, you you were looking well in the looking last for presentation. A team. He was looking for a team. We are offering you the best young people that might be able to help you. And from our program, I'm, 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 I'm not aware of what you're doing, but I'm sure that within our, the group of 50 people that are still within the community. Excuse me? He said, I want to be the McDonald's of e-mobility. I'm probably going to be the McDonald's of e-mobility. Do elaborate. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? Um, no, I'm not going to do that in public. All moment. right. Well, in, in my experience, my 20-year experience, and I'm, I must be a little bit humble about it, I was the same as you in the beginning. I was a little bit yo uh, younger than you, but what I experienced is that if you share your ideas, it's no problem. There's only a couple of people that can execute it anyway. I mean, an, an ID? I, I, uh, an I exactly, Remy. An I, ID I, is I know worth 2%. I, I, I know what you say, but if I talk one on one, I will tell you. All right, not fine. Where okay. everybody listening in it. All right, thank you. I would add to that, unless, unless you have yet to patent or protect it, in which case, of course, if you talk about it in an open forum, you screw your chances of protecting it. Seriously? That would be an issue. I agree. All these folks here have got so many ideas of their own, they really don't care about yours. That's part of why you don't have a team at the moment. They're all so busy with their own stuff. So. So you're going to have to well, basically sooner the or problem later. is what we are saying is there are plenty of good ideas, but there are not too many good entrepreneurs or teams. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not talking about you. I, I just in general. <laughs> All right. All right. No more questions. But you're going to hang around. Uh, sure. Oh no, we do have one more question. Cool. Yeah, we do. All right. There we go. The, the deluge has begun. So you're Dutch, I think, or not? I'm Dutch, yeah. yeah so, so I said I also notice a sense of humor, which I very much like. So I have a question for you. Do you like quizzes? Quizzes? Oh, absolutely, yeah. Because Bring I it on. missed the beginning of the presentation. Maybe you thought something about yourself. So uh, I don't know if you notice that they are pretty young, not as we are. But we, yeah, I'm, I'm older than you. You are young. Yeah, I'm you, old. Th you think, <laughs> but uh, um, you use in your... Um, uh, appealingness to people two famous sentences from a movie I do and they don't know that movie I think but what's the but sentence I think this generation thinks it's hilarious it's um, uh, push the button and just apply just what oh push, push the, button the button and just apply and yeah just do apply. it but I'm not aware of what movie it's the game really <laughs> I haven't seen it I'm sorry is it good yeah it's very good okay it's, uh, but you saw it you like That's it? That's fantastic. I saw I saw it when so I was in San Francisco, <laughs> and it plays Prison. in San Francisco, and it's really uh, it's really good. So All maybe right. take a cool. look, and then you you know why I noticed That's that. That's fantastic. It's dangerous to say just apply because when you do it, something really happens in your life. Okay. Yeah, well, they to know. give you, to give you an idea, just what's happening in our lives. We started, well, yeah. restarted the company five months ago. Five months, and I've never been in an endeavor or, in a, or an adventure that has grown so quickly it's mind-blowing so we must be doing something uh, right I was saying wrong right I mean we're already having conversations with people that say oh can we do this program in the UK uh, absolutely but not now yesterday I had a conversation with the gentleman who said hmm I want to do it in Denmark and Germany fantastic but not now we're gonna do it right here right now and we're gonna show that Dutch people can build tech companies 
All right. Are you with me? Are we going to do it? Woohoo! Fantastic. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, you know what's coming next. Um, a beer. I wish. I wish. I wish. <laughs> um, I don't know if you know about Campus Party, but if you, if you go to the hall next door, is it uh, down there in turn right? You probably heard me saying this to, uh, to Johan as well. Uh, there's a tradition that the youngsters coming in from all over Europe, you know, they, they, we don't put them in hotels. We don't, right. you know, we don't make them do Airbnb or couch surfing. We put them up in tents. I've seen it. It's fantastic. And, and we want you to have that full Campus Party experience, but of course, we're not expecting you to sleep over in uh, an old warehouse or in the uh, in the Yabers. I might stay here if it's uh, if it's uh, well, I'm if sure it's good fun. I'm Thank sure these guys much. will uh, find you a pack oh, of beer. Oh, he got if you one as well. Yeah, can I yeah. put my tent next to you, Johan? <laughs> uh, you know what? You guys can you can you can negotiate that after beers, okay? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, a huge round of applause Thank for Dick uh, Rep.